Hey everyone, in this video I'd like to cover my top 5 favourite apps for managing money. I use these apps on a daily basis and would recommend them to anyone. They're all free to use, uh, there are premium versions you can up subscribe to as well if it's not quite what you need and you need a bit more data or information, they have those options as well. Let's kick it off with one that everyone is familiar with and that is Microsoft Excel. Excel is awesome for providing very detailed information that you can customize yourself from bringing in stock price data, uh, manipulating that, customizing everything that you would probably need in relation to managing money. I basically use this for budgeting and my money goals as well as managing my net worth and my assets and monitoring that on a monthly basis. And anyone that is probably have has anything to do with finance is probably already using Microsoft Excel or has had experience doing it. I'll be sharing some spreadsheets in the near future after I've covered those topics, budgeting and money management. Coming on to number four, Weeble. Weeble has just dominated in every aspect of app development for stock trading. If you're an American, or Chinese trader, you're able to use them as your stockbroker and they provide zero commission trades. As well as an awesome platform on every device, it has a whole heap of fundamental information. You've got technical data, you've got charting, you can even manage your own stock portfolio on there, even if you're not using them as your broker. You will have to input all your trades manually though, which is time consuming, but it is definitely worth it once you've got that up and running. You can even paper trade as well. And it's one that I, I probably check first thing in the morning. Moving on to number three, we have FinWiz. Not to be confused with FinViz, which is the popular stock screen app website. Why did they choose a name so similar? Your guess is as good as mine. Okay, I use these guys to manage my cryptocurrency and my Australian stocks. Unfortunately, Weeble doesn't have Australian stocks, even a delayed price. I was lucky enough to find FinWiz and they do a pretty good job of it. It's nice, clean, simple, easy to use. I can see my Australian stock prices um, and they seem to be live prices as well from what I can tell. And it's pretty much easy just to refresh and see the latest prices. And once again, like Weeble, you will need to input your trading data to be able to see a portfolio and see how much money you've made or lost in the market. Leading on to number two, we have TradingView. TradingView has been around for a very long time and they just absolutely kill the charting market. They do such a fantastic job. You almost don't even need to draw on the chart which has an abundance of different tools, indicators that you can use on the chart. They have everything already laid out for you and you can quickly and easily see what kind of strategy would be sufficient to trade that specific company. You've got all the financials there as well. TradingView is definitely one you want to add to your arsenal and one to be fully aware of. Even if you're not a technical trader, you will find some very useful quick and easy indicators that will either reassure your decision is going to be correct or deter you from making a possibly bad decision. The number one finance app that I am just loving at the moment is Money Brilliant. Money Brilliant is basically an aggregator of all your bank accounts, investments, credit cards, anything financial, you can log into this app and monitor it. Now, of course, there's some concerns, obviously, being that you are using your login details for your financial services in the app. And I can completely understand your concern with that. However, Money Brilliant have a 256-bit encryption and that is basically the same security level as the banks. Money Brilliant will only have read access to your accounts. They will not have write access. But something to consider is the privacy. Of course, you're giving them access to your data and this data can then be used for marketing purposes or even sold. They don't indicate any of this on their website, but like any free service that you're giving data to, they are most likely using that data to maintain the business 
and make money. Nothing is free, unfortunately. I personally just use the free version and that's sufficient for my needs and allows me to quickly and easily see all my bank accounts and my net worth at a glance. Money Brilliant also gives you access to all your transactions and gives you budgeting tools as well for you to track your spending. An excellent feature that I currently don't actually use because I find it quite tedious to go through and change the category for every transaction every month. But some people might find it quite useful and it might fit in with their budgeting structure. In closing, I would like to say that all of these apps are sensational and they really do help manage your money a lot better and more efficiently than you probably ever have before. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'm happy to answer any questions you have about any of these apps. I'm pretty much across everything and anything that they do. I will be covering all of these apps in upcoming videos in more depth and I will go through how you can best utilize the tools that these companies provide. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. See you guys.